Hello there, good people's the internet. Devere here with just a very quick tutorial on setting up the DOSBox key mapper software. Now, I've mentioned that in some of my retro gameplay videos, and no doubt we'll mention it in a few more. It's not the most straightforward piece of software to use, so that's what this video is about. So, first of all, you need to do obviously is fire up your DOSBox emulated game. Once in game, to get to the DOSBox key map software, press Ctrl F1. So let's do that now. So you should be met with something that looks like this. It might be slightly different depending on what version of DOSBox you have, but this is in 0.72. So of course, Wolfenstein uses the arrow keys for movement, and I want to make it something a little bit more modern, such as WASAD. So it's a bit bass awkward, but to do it, first of all, you need to click on the game that's key that's assigned already in game so in this case the forward arrow click on that come down here you see these boxes click on delete click on add now in your physical keyboard press the key you want to assign in this case w then we do the same for the back key click on the down arrow click on delete click on add and press on s same for left click on the left arrow click on delete click on add and press A on my keyboard. Finally, the right key, click on the right arrow, click on delete, click on add, and press D. Now also in game, spacebar is the use key, and I'm gonna make that a bit more modern as well. So click on space, click on delete, click on add, and on my keyboard, I'm gonna press the E key. And with that all set up, I'm gonna click save. Now if you mess up all your bindings, you need to start again. Come into where you've downloaded the game, you'll see a little text file called Mapper. Just delete that and that will restart the that will reset the defaults and you can start again. So if you're happy with everything, press exit and we'll return to game. So let's start a new game. And let's play on the just for the sake of brevity. The ladies are setting. <laughs> Only joking, girls. So now hopefully in game. S moves me backwards, good, good. W moves me forwards, A turns me left, and D turns me right, and E opens my doors. And of course, there's also a strafe modifier for strafing, which is the Alt key, which now falls right under my thumb, having the WASAD keys. I've even got my strafe. And the eagle-eyed amongst you might notice there there was a there was a setting for joysticks, and you might be asking yourself, does that mean I can use a joystick or a control pad with this? With this joystick with the key box mapper software and the answer is yes and no let's go back to the keypad mapper software now with control f1 and you'll see up there the joystick layout now you see this is obviously dos box emulator it's emulating dos now dos used a system called d input for control pads and joysticks so if you have an old control pad that uses D-input or joystick, you should have no problems. However, if you have an Xbox controller like I do, that uses a system called X-input, which Microsoft made for their own controllers. That will cause you a few issues. Now, one of them will be I've never managed to get the D-pad recognized even going into the DOS box config and try to set it to it's a joystick F type F FCS uh, and also the right thumbstick uh, it only sees the up and down axis not the left and right however most of the other buttons work as well as the left analog stick so let's set that up now just for just for demonstration purposes and it's pretty much the same we go back here to our forward arrow click on it click on delete click on add now on the left thumbstick I press forward as you'll see there bind controller axis one click on the down arrow click on delete click on add and pull down left again click click delete click on add and push left on the stick and same for right click on right click on delete click on add push right so obviously we now need our buttons so we need some Obviously, the first one would be control, our fire button we need to shoot. So control is, in, is firing game in Wolfenstein. So come down, click on delete, click on add, and press the button you'd like. In this case, I'm going to go for the blue X button. 
So I press that. Space was our use key. So click on space, click on delete, click on add, and I'm going to make that the green A button. So the Alt for the strafe modifier. Now here's an issue. You might think obviously a shoulder button would be a good choice. However, the left shoulder button is already pre bound, hard coded to use. It acts as a use key in game. So I'm going to use my right shoulder button. So I'm going to click on delete, click on add, and then I just press the right shoulder button. So that's all good. So save. And let's go back to game to check this. So indeed, back is back, forward is forward, left stick turns me left, right stick is turning me right. Now blue is firing, and uh, you can hear from the sound, the green button is indeed using. So obviously the lack of, uh, <laughs> lack of a hat switch or D-pad is awkward, because it means I need to use my number keys to switch between weapons. But again, this is it is not DOSBox's fault because this is just designed for emulating DOS boxes. So yeah, you can't really be too unhappy. Honestly, if you're gonna get into retro gaming in a big way and you're interested in using your controller with these kind of things. Whoa, two of them they've wandered in there. Wow, human name bot there, Devere. <laughs> Yeah, if you're going to get into into retro gaming in a big way and using an Xbox controller is important, I'd suggest you get the right tool for the job and go get yourself something like Joy to Key or Pad Style or X Padder. I mean, there's plenty of programs out there now that do those kind of functions that'll be much better. See, right, that's my strafe modifier for strafing because yeah, you know, it's not a, yeah, it's not DOSBox's fault. DOSBox does what it says on the tin and it emulates DOS which is a D input standard. So if control support is important, yeah, definitely, definitely want something a bit more man for the job. Oh, come on. <laughs> How did that not kill him straight away? So I think we'll get around to concluding our dealings here, gang. So that should just about, just about shows you the basics of it. Is it a bit, a bit odd to get your head around at first the, the uh, key mapper software, but it becomes easy with time. And a lot of these games nowadays you'll be playing probably with some sort of source port emulation which has modern controls naturally inbound or natural and usually have a key mapper software. But for those that want to persevere with the old school ways like I do, then that's how to do it. So anyway gang, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Hope you found it useful and entertaining in some way. And as ever, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to let me know you're alive. And I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.